Hello world! Welcome to our new tutorial for the ultimate reviews. Today, we'll go through advanced options. First, let's finish the basic options tab and then get into the ordering and styling options. First, let's look into the in-depth reviews and reviews categories. These two options will allow you to organize your reviews more efficiently. By default, the in-depth review will be set to no. If set to yes, it will enable you to use the reviews categories. That option will let you create categories. The categories are the details you would like your customers to review. For example, we can create the following. Appearance, price, and shipping. To help your customers, a description of each category can be given. The description will then be displayed beneath the category on the front end. I'm going to go through the product list before going through the other options. You will notice the plugin has many options revolved around the product list. Auto-complete product name, restrict product name, and product name input type options. The list will allow you to set specific products which you would allow your customers to review. Simply type in the products in the table. When writing a review, your customers will have to fill in the product name field. They may type it fully manually, or you may allow them to type in few letters and let the filtering display the products that contain similar characters. For this to work, you will have to select yes, and either have UPCP integration turned on, or already have products in the product list setting. This will allow you to control which products can be reviewed. The product list option below will allow you to set which products are restricted. For example, if I have products A, B, and C, and wish to allow only reviews on B, then I would add B onto the product list. As said previously, customers are able to type in the product name. This option is set to text by default. If you would prefer to have a drop-down menu of all the reviewable products, then set the input type to drop-down. If you're using the ultimate reviews with the UPCP, then the products displayed will be the products from the UPCP. If not, the product list below will have to be filled in with the products you want to display in the drop-down. The ordering options will allow you to customize the ordering of the reviews, whether it is by the date of submission, the product name, the rating, etc. The ordering is divided into two parts, ordering of the groups of products and the ordering of individual reviews. First of all, when writing in the shortcode, you may put in the product name. This will restrict the reviews displayed to a specific product. If you do not put the product name shortcode attribute, then the option will allow you to group the reviews by products. By default, the option is set to no. Therefore, simply set it to yes. If the group by product is set to yes, then this option will allow you to display groups alphabetically, either in ascending or descending order. After setting up the ordering settings for the groups, you'll be able to set the ordering type for individual products. So either ordering them by submitted date, rating, or by review title. In the same way that you set the group direction, you'll be able to set the ordering of your review. So either in ascending or descending order. This option is simply to allow you to enable or disable the display of the score beside your review. By default, the option is set to yes, therefore, the score is displayed with the review. If you set it to no, it would simply have the review description. If you have selected your reviews to be displayed in groups, then setting this option to yes will add a separating line between the groups. If you have in-depth reviews set to yes, 
then you will be able to enable the display of a border around each of the in-depth element. 